What's going on guys, it's the NOLA Hub here back with another video and it's been a while but here is some Pelicans content and today we're going to talk about why I think the New Orleans Pelicans should trade for Miles Turner. Miles Turner is a center with the Indiana Pacers and is currently under contract I believe for another two or three years but I think it makes sense for the Pelicans to pursue a trade as his name has been thrown around in trades a lot. But before we get into that, I want to announce that I started a Patreon. I asked on my community tab if some of you would be interested in receiving some perks for a little bit of financial support to me, helping me get some equipment, maybe like a green screen, a new mic, all that good stuff. But I understand it is a big ass, so there's no, like, uh, I'm not going to favor you if you join. There's no, I understand it's a big ask, and that's fine. Uh, but you will receive some perks like you get to get a shout out at the end of the video or play games with me or discord call monthly moderator on the channel anyway um yeah that that's my announcement but without further ado let's talk about why the Pelicans should trade with uh, not Zion Williamson Miles Turner but that has a big reason to do with it Zion Williamson is probably the most dominant player I've ever seen since Shaq okay and maybe that's a stretch, but it's true. The way he works in the paint is terrific. Now, here's the problem. We currently have a center that can only stand in the paint and get rebounds, Steven Adams. What that does is it adds an extra defender for Zion to be guarded by because Steven Adams can't move out. So when that defender sees Zion in the paint backing someone down, bitching him, he comes to help out, leading to a Zion double team. And it hasn't worked out as Steven Adams wasn't that efficient shooting. Now. This is why I think we should trade for Miles Turner. Because Miles Turner can shoot the three ball a bit and splice the floor. Space the floor, not splice. Anyway, he shot about four threes per game last year, a little above. And he made about 33% of them. It's a little low, but in years past, he's made a little bit more. I believe the year before, 34%. And the year before, he had a nice 38% from three. But this is what we need because we also need defense. Lonzo Ball sadly might not be back. Once again, I think that's a huge mistake. Um, Steven Adams can't be in the lineup, and that's probably our big defender. Zion and B.I. are not very good defenders. You need some defense, and that's why Miles Turner is perfect, because he can stretch the floor and play defense. He had 3.4 blocks last year. 3.4 and averages 2.2 in his career. He is a terrific shot blocker and a great inside presence. It is very difficult to go into the paint with Miles Turner there. And he's still only 24 and under contract, I believe, for two or three more years. Now, why are you saying why would the Pacers trade him? Well, his name's been thrown around a lot in rumors. I don't know Pacers basketball that well. I don't know what's exactly wrong with them. But hey, we'll take it. His name's being thrown around. Let's fucking get him. He has an effective field goal percentage of 55%. He shoots... Two, from the two-pointer, two-pointers, 60%, and from three, as I said earlier, 33%. He averaged 12.6 points last year, 5.2 rebounds, and what am I missing? Assists, 1.0. So he's not a passer, but I mean, with what Stan Van Gundy is trying to do in point Zion, which I hate, uh, that's no need. Anyway, this is actually, I misspoke, 6.5 rebounds, excuse my... Uh, miss laps. So, yes, you are going to take a little lapse in the rebound. I don't think he's as skilled at rebounding as Steven Adams, and that's a little bit of concern because I don't think Zion's the greatest rebounder. If you lose Lonzo, you lose that guard that can rebound. It, it would be interesting, but this would space the floor nicely. At times, we'd have a free lane for Zion. At times, we'd have a very, very effective shot blocker, and I definitely think you'd see defensive statistics go way up with Miles Turner. I think you can move Steven Adams to the bench or trade him. I think it would be kind of hard to uh, have a guy making 20 plus million on the bench, but he can't be in the starting lineup. It just doesn't work. But I think Miles Turner is an excellent player. I think each year he proves, uh, and you can see it in the numbers, I really like his defensive presence. Only played 47 games last year. I think there's a lot of room to grow for him. I really think the Pelicans should pull the trigger. Now, exactly what we would trade, I'm not 100% sure. Honestly, this might sound crazy, but I wouldn't be too angry if we traded the 10th overall pick and got something 
back for as well as Miles Turner. I know I believe they have Karis Levert, which I think would be a nice little Miles Turner, Karis Levert for the 10th, and maybe a role player. I'm not exactly sure. But that's exactly what I would feel comfortable trading, maybe a little less. I don't know. Miles Turner, excellent player, under contract, exactly what we need. Let me know what you guys think down below, and until next time, peace.